Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're looking at the One Year Bible and one of the passages from today's reading, um, Matthew 16 and 17. It's a wonderful uh, story. It's textbook discipleship, so I thought I had to zero in on it, really. Um, it's a story of Jesus with his disciples on their travels to get to Caesarea Philippi on the coast there. And Jesus turns to his disciples and says, Who do people think that I am? You know, what, what are they saying about me? For some time now, Jesus has been doing his miracles, his ministry, his teaching. They're regularly drawing crowds. And Jesus sort of says, what's the story going around about me? Who do people say that I am? And his disciples say, oh, well, Jesus, there's loads of theories flying around. Some people think you're John the Baptist, back from the dead, as it were. Some think you're Elijah or Jeremiah or one of the ancient prophets. Jesus says, hmm, okay, well, who do you think I am? Who do you say that I am? That's a million dollar question, isn't it? That's the question of discipleship, if you think about it. Because depending on how we answer that question situates us in relation to Jesus. And Peter in this passage blurts out this response that's obviously been brewing in him for some time under the influence of the Holy Spirit. He says, you're the Messiah. You're the anointed one. You're the son of the living God. And he articulates something that has not been articulated by another human being up to this point. I mean, the demons have recognised it, but not human beings. It's a phenomenal confession of faith. And Jesus says, Peter, you are spot on. That's something that God has revealed to you, not human beings. That's divine revelation, not human thinking. And he says, because of that, I'm going to build my church on you. You're going to be called Rocky because I'm going to build my church on you, Peter. And that's instructive for us, isn't it? So, because insofar as we recognise that Jesus is the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Son of the Living God, insofar as we, we recognise that, not just with our lips, but with our lives, God can build in and through us his church and advance his kingdom. Now, Peter instantly slips back because Jesus starts to unpack what it means to be a Messiah. He says, I'm going to have to suffer, I'm going to have to die, and on the third day be raised. And Peter is freaked out by this, takes him to one side and says, whoa, Jesus, you're freaking the lads out. You've got to cut this stuff out. And, and Jesus says, no, get behind me, Satan. You're starting to think in human terms again, rather than in divine terms. You've flipped from one to the other. And I think that's instructive for us today, again, because as disciples, there's always danger that there can be slippage. And I know that's true in my life. Very easily I can slip from recognising Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of the Living God and start to treat him as just some kind of prof prophet, some glorified prophet of old rather than making him front and central to my life. So why not take some time out today to think about who Jesus is for you. In prayer, look Jesus in the eyes and hear him ask that question, who do you say that I am today? Has there been some slippage? And if so, come back on track, because my desire is to build in and through you my church, the kingdom of God.